Paul, thanks for joining us once again. Wish the uh, situation was better, though. Oh, no problem, Mike. Yeah, good to be with you again. Yeah, it's frustrating, you know. What's this guy all about? I mean, he's, he... he's a control freak, and he's also he knows that he can't manage. Uh, he can't manage this virus at all. He can't manage his hotel quarantine, mm. and he's just got a net bunch of muppets that are running things for him. And the rest of us have to suffer yet again. And ha- it's, um, he had an inquiry where he's wasted thirty million dollars of our taxpayer money here mm. in Victoria. Mm-hmm. And he still can't even get it right after that. So, you know, he's just got to go. He's got to put his hand up and go. But from what I'm hearing, no one really wants to walk into a poison chalice. And, um, you know, his, his complete ideology and everything he's doing is just is, it's bringing our state to its knees. And hopefully people start seeing through mm. through this man and through the lies and through the spin and through the rubbish that he talks. We've heard it may be at least two weeks. What's his justification offered for extending this lockdown besides stupidity, incompetence and not knowing what I'm doing, really? Oh, there is no justification. Mm. It's just the fact that, you know, you look at what Gladys was able to do in New South Wales. She was able to shut down a couple of suburbs, lock them away, the northern beaches, keep them locked in and controlled it very quickly. Now they've had 28 days of zero cases. She's just showed what good crisis management's all about, whereas he has no idea. He's locked down a whole state. Mm. The whole state. Friends are ringing me from Shepparton, Wodonga, Mildura. They're locked in. They're angry. This idiot, and hopefully, I'm, in a way, it's good. I, I reckon next election, country Victoria will be the ones to shut the door on him. And that's what got Jeff voted out many years ago. And I think country Victoria is livid with the way they've been treated. The fact that they've got to wear masks when there's nothing anywhere near them. There's no... Mm cases there's no reason that they should be locked in their homes for the next five days just complete lunacy by a lunatic is anyone in victoria though asking the premier or his advisors for the scientific basis for their actions and why certain businesses such as yours hospitality industry are again targeted it seems to be you you must have this big bullseye on your backside because you guys get get whacked every time they make a mistake. Yeah, absolutely, we do. We get whacked harder than any, uh, and it's really hard, obviously, for our businesses to go online and do that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, anyway, we've only just got to hope that uh, it is the five days that he said, but I have no faith, no trust in the man that it is only going to be five days. Well, he can't control it, and it's it's, uh, out of control at the moment. Yeah, the the cost of the economy here is ridiculous, but the other side of it is we've, um, you know... (laughs) People who do question him get shot down. Everyone's afraid to speak up because you've got the woke left who want to shoot you down. And, um, you know, we're all entitled to an opinion. And some of these Muppets on the left won't let us, you know, have our opinion. And they think that everything Dan says is completely correct. But I think the, you know, public opinion is turning. Mm. And hopefully we can um, get back on with our lives in a few days' time. But I'm not holding my breath. Now, tell me this. I, I always thought that Victoria, Queensland, all these states were part of Australia and that we had one prime minister. Um, where is he? Where the bloody hell are you, Prime Minister? Yeah, he's a bit the same. I think he's scared of the woke left. It, it's a shame because I, I do like our Prime Minister. I think he's been very good, but mm. he, he needs more of a voice. He's got to stand up and, and be a man and, and, and dictate a little bit more. You've got dictators like Anastasia, dictators like Dan, mm. dictators like that Muppet over in Western Australia. Our, our, our Prime Minister needs to dictate to them, this is our mandate, this is what we're doing, this is how we're going to control it in our country, this is what we're going to do for hotel quarantine. Um, he's he really now, now his time to stand up and shine. I just hope you know he, he listens and does something to help help us all. What about the uh, the opposition? Where's Where's Michael O'Brien? Oh, Michael speaks up, but no one listens to him. Mm. It's just a shame. He uh, he seems to be a little bit irrelevant. Um, and I mean, he's, I like him. He's a great guy. Just doesn't seem to be resonating with the Victorian public, unfortunately. And Dan is though. He still resonates. He's still very oh, popular. Yeah. Is, is it the fear he's, thing? He's it's 100 percent the fear thing, and he mm. does. He stands up there, and he, he's a great, he's a great spin doctor, and he talks with authority, and he and he makes people believe him. He makes people think that this thing's going to kill him. He puts fear into people, which all good dictators do. They rule by fear, and they rule by control. And mm. some people sit there and and want to believe in that, and they listen to him. Mm. Terrible situation. Uh, once you're out of lockdown, though, I would recommend highly a, a quick visit, uh, maybe five, six hours worth at Lamaro's. Nice place I hear, Paul. Yeah, it's all right. We go okay. We've got a beautiful little, you know, nice little pub, great food, great little front bar, and nice little outdoor setting at the moment. With um, That's probably been one of the bonuses that we've all been able to set up nice outdoor areas, and we do have a nice little 
aspect where we are. It looks very European-like. So mm. um, anyway, when you're in Melbourne, come down to Lamaris Hotel in South Melbourne. You'll have to call security after about the fifth hour, believe me. Uh, Paul Dimitina, thank you very much. No problem. Thanks very much, Mike.